uh, my name is Rosie. I've been a tadpole uh, since the first event in 2017, um, and this is what I've learnt over the course of being a tadpole. Um, so, to look at what I've learnt as a tadpole, you kind of have to look at what I've done with the tadpoles. I attended the Mapping and Napping the Foreshore session at Putney Bridge in 2017 before going on to two training sessions at Mortimer Wheeler House in 2018 and guided foreshore walks and field work at Custom House in 2018 and 2019. Now, one of the big things that I've probably learned most about over the course of being a tadpole is probably about different finds, from being able to recognise different types of pottery and roughly what sort of era they're from, whether it be <coughs> medieval green glaze, salt glaze, to later Victorian creamware even, I've learned a lot about pottery, as well as clay pipes, and I've discovered the excitement of finding a, a pipe bowl instead of just pipe stem. <laughs> <laughs> I was fortunate enough to find a really spectacular pocket watch um, last year, I think, um, in which it was engraved with a name and we were able to reunite it with the owner's family, which was a really lovely moment, I think, um, because it showed how the things that we find do really relate to modern day and what's going on now. Again, similar to finds, features are a huge thing that we've learnt a lot about. Um, from timbers and how wood survives in the unique uh, environment of the foreshore to stonework. Um, and we've learnt about uh, barge beds and I now know what these seemingly random piles of chalk are um, and how they were used. We've learnt about the gridiron at Custom House and how the boats were put there to be fixed at low tide. Um, I think probably my favourite feature we've come across is the Tudor jetty at um, Greenwich. Uh, I have a particular interest in the Tudors <coughs> and to be able to see a physical feature like that was really special, um, particularly because Greenwich Palace is of course no longer there. Um, We've done a lot about surveying and recording. Um, we use the Citizen app, um, which I got the opportunity to record the very rare find of an office chair. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've done a lot uh, with more traditional methods of recording, um, recording with paper and pen and a scale, um, which is a really unique experience, I think, of being able to plot each one and then join it up at the end to create an image and a representation of what you can see um, to be able to record it uh, for when it changes in the future. Site formation, again, like I said, the foreshore is a really unique environment. So learning about how those sites, of course, they're tidal, and learning about the erosion new deposits, uh, you can see there a photo of the uh, jetty at Greenwich and then when I visited on the right hand side, it, it, there's a big difference. And again, the following year when I visited, unfortunately I don't have a photo, uh, but there was noticeable difference, which I found really fascinating. And with site uh, formation and erosion, everything comes site preservation. We visited the World Heritage Site at Greenwich um, and learned about the different rules that apply to that area. Um, and we washed the gridiron to minimise the build-up um, of weeds and mud on there um, and had great fun splashing around with buckets. <laughs> uh, to summarise, I'd just like to say thank you to Thames Discovery um, and everyone who's given me the opportunity to learn so much about all the different sites. Um, I think I do a lot of archaeology outside um, of tadpoles. I've been uh, digging for six years now. Um, but it's a really unique place in that there is such a huge variety and quantity of finds and artefacts to be found. Um, and the frogs and Josh and everyone have been really, really helpful um, in teaching us about it. So it's been really wonderful and I hope to hang around for <laughs> a while longer. Um, but yeah, just thank you. <laughs>